Hi guys and welcome to my latest short film, The Winter Roost. And it all starts here on a very wintry morning about two years ago. Anybody that's familiar with the UK Midlands will know that we've had consecutive very mild winters, so this was quite an unusual thing to have such a decent snowfall and so I wanted to head out early with my hide down towards this bridleway, which is a wonderful bridleway right on the border of the Leicestershire Northamptonshire counties, heading down towards Stamford Hall. Some lovely brown hair tracks there, cutting through the snow. And I was here setting up the hide overlooking the small village of South Kilworth. And I picked this particular stubble field because the aim was to film passerines, winter thrushes, anything that might come about. But as it happens, it was these little birds that first arrived. Wonderfully enigmatic. They're black, they're white, they wag their tails. These are pied wagtails. Now, even if you're not too familiar with the different species in Britain here, you possibly would be aware of these little guys. They have a penchant, and I don't know why, for asphalted areas, tarmacked areas, and so potentially as you're packing away your shopping on a weekend in the boot, there in the supermarket car park, you'll catch a glimpse of one of these little birds on the verges. But here they are in a harsh environment of winter time and there we have actually a carrion crow caretakers of our countryside clearing away one of the losses of the previous night. And so I take you now to Litchfield. And this is where the story really begins. Right into the heart of Litchfield city centre, right into the heart of the shopping precinct. And this a week before Christmas, the 18th of December. At about half past three in the afternoon, down this particular little section between Card Factory and Costa Coffee, these very familiar birds, the same birds we saw out in the field, start to arrive. This is a traditional pied wagtail roost. When you find a pied wagtail roost, you'll often see it being used year upon year. One of the braver ones there, certainly not one of the wallflowers, flying from the rooftop and entering this particular tree, a very festive looking tree that performs as their traditional roost. Once one bird moves in, they all seem to get the courage to, to join that bird. And from now, and for the next half an hour, you'll find that more and more birds are flying in. Seemingly, trying to find the best branch. There's a lot of squabbling, there's a lot of angst. In fact, they're not particularly social birds, not in the same way as we would see crows or gulls or house sparrows, but at this time of the year, this winter roost is crucial to them. Here, towards midwinter, the very short days and very long nights, these birds will be sat in this tree now for a good 12 to 14 hours. So you can imagine finding the best spot is really, really important to them.
Now, if I was to pose the question, if you were one of these pied wagtails, in fact, any social bird coming to a roost to sleep overnight, where would be the best place? Where would be the best place amongst this roost to be? And if you were like me, for many years, you possibly would have said, right in the middle, right in the heart of the roost. It seems to make sense. Being surrounded by your like kind, more protected from being in the heart of the roost, it just seems to tick all the boxes. Well, actually, research has shown that isn't the case, and that the best place for a roost is at the top. The reason it appears to be quite comical, but actually, it's very serious. If we can imagine ourselves here amongst all these birds on that very long night and to be specific all those bird derriers bottoms above us then what are the chances that during this long night we could be potentially putting it politely defecated on well bearing that in mind and you can imagine them being wet and dirty on an icy cold night and being of such a small frame how that would affect you but potentially then it could mean that you wouldn't see the following dawn. It could be the death knell. And so the best place of any roost for any social bird, I believe, is at the top. But these guys are gathering for a multitude of reasons. One is obviously the protective element, being amongst many of your kind, being away potentially from the risk of predation, but crucially, and especially with this tree, being away from the colder elements of the environment. And here, this particular tree tucked below the rooftops or lower than the rooftops of Card Factory and Costa Coffee, it sees them in an environment that's at least two to three degrees warmer than being in the countryside. That icy wind will whip off the roof of Costa Coffee and over the roof of Card Factory and miss this tree completely. But recent research has found another amazing reason why these birds come together. Let's just for a second imagine that we are a pied wagtail here and we've been down on our luck uh, over the last few weeks, we've not been able to find so much food. We've lost a lot of weight. In fact, we're nothing more than feather and bone. And if we don't find better sources of nutrition, the potential is that we won't make it through the winter. And yet next to us, there are pied wagtails that appear to be doing very well, carrying lots of fat and in much better condition than we are. Well, then this roost performs as a networking site. And the following morning, you'll be following those birds. You'll be following those birds to their preferred feeding sites and hopefully taking a portion of the bounty that they appear to be finding. Hope you enjoyed this little festive film at the start of Advent. If you'd like the film, please do hit the thumbs up and think about subscribing to Wild Presentations because there's lots of exciting things ahead.